Hey peoples, first thing I got uh, Logic loaded up right now and what I want to do is I got my browser open up so I'm going to go ahead and um, search for my mp3 folder so I'm going to go right here to my sample folder and I got mp3s right here alright now all of these are mp3s so what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and um drag this one over let me see this this anyone I take this and drag it over pull it over into logic alright now while it's loading you already know that um machine doesn't support mp3 format so this is a little work around what we can do inside of logic to get the um the mp3s into machine so let's go ahead and play it Let's do something we'll regret I'm tired of being so good I favor my sick imagination Alright, so let's just say we wanted to um take this right here and we wanted to sample it into machine. The first thing we want to do is add another track. Um, we're going to go ahead and use machine as a software instrument as a VST and we're going to go ahead and kick, click create alright so this is machine right here now what you want to do is you want to come over here to your first instrument and see this little IO label right here you want to click under it and that's going to give you a, a list of all your VSTs and your effects and stuff like that you want to go all the way down to AU instruments come over to native instruments you see machine and what I normally do is click the multi output uh, one stereo 15 mono but you can click any instance that you want alright now while machine is loading up alright we got machine open let's go ahead and close that alright first thing we want to do is is right here is machine and this is the track that we want to sample so to get that sample to come inside a machine so we can sample we want to go to side chain and it's on none right now we want to go ahead and click the um the drop down arrow and we're gonna to go to audio one one so high alright so now what that does is that's that allows machine to pick up on the audio right here that's coming in all right. So now with the sound, we can now go into our sample tab. And I'm on the micro, so sampling, you'll just click sampling. All right. Now we got it set to record. And we want to set the source. Make sure it's on input. Over to your inputs and go to input one left and right if you want to sample in stereo alright so now we're ready to record so let's go back over to logic we can arm the track here on machine which is F1 press start now it's waiting for the input and now we can press play on logic Let's do something we'll regret I'm tired of being so good I gotta stop and savor My sick imagination Alright, let's stop it And now you can see that MP3 Let's do something You can see it's in there and now you can go from there and you can go ahead and start chopping your sample up and doing what it is that you want to do to manipulate it. Uh, that was just a quick little tip.
Uh, that way, those guys that's using Logic, you can still use Machine inside of Logic and sample your MP3s where you don't have to use uh, Logic's format. You can kind of still use Machine. So I hope this helps somebody out out there, man. Again, if y'all haven't checked out MachineMasters.com, make sure y'all go over there and uh, join up. If you have any questions, man, feel free to hit me up on Twitter at AGGotBeats, and I'll try to get back um, to you as soon as possible. Other than that, I'll holler at y'all on the next video. Peace.